My name is John Tanaka, I'm the executive chef of Pearl Restaurant in London. The reason we called it Pearl is because this used to be a bank, it used to be the old Pearl Assurance building. When we designed the restaurant, uh, there were three designers that came and pitched to us. Um, I got to choose which designer that we worked with and I worked with the one that was going to create a restaurant that would complement my style of food rather than the other way around. So today I'm going to cook a dish that we've got on the menu at the moment. It's poached monkfish with seaweed, oyster tortellini, cucumber and seashore vegetables. So I've got this beautiful monkfish that came in last night and with that we're going to brine it which is slightly unusual but what that does it gives it a lot of flavour and it keeps it really moist as well. So to prepare it, one of the easiest fish to prepare because you've only got one bone which runs down the middle and you haven't got any of those small pin bones. Once the fish is cleaned, that goes straight into the brine and that will be 20 minutes. Uh, there are some designers that would say this is the restaurant we need for this space and this is the kind of cuisine you should be cooking. Um, whereas I think a restaurant should always be cuisine led. So what we've got here is some kombu, okay, which is a kind of seaweed which has been dried out and it's a very, very simple thing to make. All it is is dried kombu with water and the reason I'm using mineral water just gives it a more clean, pure taste. And then you just put it onto the heat and you bring it up to steaming um, temperature. Once the monkfish has been in the brine for 20 minutes, take it out, you need to rinse it in cold water just to get rid of that excess salt. And then we just portion it up. So each bag is one portion. That goes straight in. That's been on for 10 minutes. And then we're just going to pour that into a container. And then we're gonna take one ladle of this uh, dashi or seaweed stock and a small piece of the combo. And then we're gonna put it inside the bag with the monkfish. I've worked with seven different Michelin star chefs and I don't think any one particular chef has influenced me the most. I've taken parts of every single one of them. So I'm going to do the garnish now. It's really simple. It's going to be seaweed and cucumber. So you're left with this. Then put it straight into a sieve. So a little bit of seasoning. Let that drain just for five minutes. The other element is dried seaweed. Just soak it in the water. And that literally just takes five minutes. So the sauce for this dish is a langoustine consomme. And then once it's made, we strain it off and then we freeze it. So that goes on top. Let's turn it upside down, just with a blowtorch. And then take it off like that. So now, for that to filter through, it takes about two days in the fridge. The gelatine that's left in the muslin bag, like that, you see that? So you're left with this perfectly clear liquid. And then we're gonna gently warm it through and we're gonna infuse it with lemongrass and then just leave it to one side and infuse it for about 10 to 15 minutes. So with the monkfish, cooking at 75 degrees for four minutes. So the rest of the garnish for this dish is gonna be oyster tortellinis, which are here. Yeah. Okay, so once the monkfish is poached, then we're gonna color it off in this pan. So you get a nice golden color. And then, to make squid tender, you have to cook it for, for hours on end or just very, very quickly in a pan. A little bit of lemon juice. So that's literally a few seconds. Consomme has been infusing for about 15 minutes. Just strain it off with the sea vegetables. Hot pan and that takes less than 30 seconds. 
it's really quick. I'm going to slice the monk. So, so start off with the cucumber. That goes in the bottom of the bowl. So seaweed goes on top. Start off with the monkfish. A few of these oyster tortellinis. Caramelized squid. And just to finish off, some of these sea vegetables. Just pour that in. So that is your poached monkfish with seaweed, oyster tortellini, seashore vegetables. I'm going to introduce you to the team. Simon, do you want to come over? So this is Simon, my head chef. Now, the kitchen would not run without Simon. He does all the hard work, and I get the credit for it. Over here, we have Corin and uh, Hugh. They work on the garnish. Uh, Corin's a chef de party, and uh, Hugh's a, uh, a chef de party as well. Over here, we have Sarindan. He's a chef de party on the pastry. Here we have Andy, he's the uh, junior sous chef. He's in charge of the hot and cold larder and uh, covers the sauce when I'm on. And here we have Matea, he's a uh, demi chef de party on the gar garnish as well. The most important aspect of a restaurant is that it makes money. Ultimately, if it doesn't make money, you don't have a business, you can't hire the staff, you're not gonna have a restaurant. So the number one goal for me, for this restaurant, any restaurant, is to make money. And I'd love to have a Michelin star. You know, I've worked for seven different Michelin star chefs. Yes, without a doubt, I would absolutely love to have a Michelin star.